Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can grow your own plants in Conan Exiles on the PlayStation 4. You're going to need to unlock a few things in your feats section in order to do this. First one being in the survival section, you're going to have to unlock the peasant items which is a crude planter and a compost heap this will require level 18 so if you have not got to that level yet that's the first thing you're going to, want to aim for once you've done that though you can go back to your inventory and you can then craft compost which is the first element you're going to need this requires 20 pieces of wood to be able to craft once you've crafted that you can then use this to start creating your own compost so once you activate it it'll give you one of these boxes once you've popped your box down and you press square on it you're going to need to add a few items now notice on the right hand side it shows you pictures of what you're going to need first one being plant fibers we know what that picture is the next one is putrid meat if you're not got any putrid meat you just got to let flesh go off and that's pretty much it but the next picture it looks like a pile of gravel or something doesn't tell you what it is and you may not come across this very often Unless you're finding this on an NPC that actually gives you the label of it, how would you know what that is? So, again, the game doesn't really help you too much with this. It doesn't give you a label. But for those of you who are not sure what that is, I'm going to show you what it is now and how you can get it. The first thing you're going to need is one of these little contraptions over here. It's called a grinder. So, yeah, not that type of grinder. Um, so, if you go to Feats, it's in actually a hidden menu. You have to press R1 to find the stone tools section. And once you keep scrolling on the controller, go to stone tools. You will actually notice just under there is the grinder. That is only available to unlock once you're at level 17. Don't forget as well, guys, you're going to have to have some knowledge points to spend because this costs uh, four knowledge points to be able to unlock. And most of the things will cost knowledge points as well. Once you've unlocked that and you've created it though, all you've got to do then is add bones. So, I mean, you can grind down other things, but for now, for the compost, you just need to grind down bones into bone meal. Normally when you kill animals and beasts, you'll get some bones sometimes and you can turn that into bone meal. Once you've got those key items, you just need to add them all to the mix. So, you know, you've got your plant fiber, your putrid meat, and your bone meal. All you've got to do then is give it a little bit of time. Now, here's one I made earlier. Um, so now in here, you notice that we've got some compost. Awesome. Now all you've got to do is create yourself a planter. I've got one over here that's empty. Now, you guys can pretty much grow what you want. Now, to grow what you want, you would have had to have found some seeds. Now, normally when you're searching through a lot of undergrowth uh, to get plant fibers and whatnot you'll get a load of seeds and you probably thought right from the beginning what do i do with them well this is what you do with them you pop them into the planter with your compost and that's pretty much it that's all you need to do give it a little bit of time and before you know it it will grow things for you notice here we planted some of these seeds that have given us some desert berries very helpful because we can we can eat these and they're you know you travel a long distance if you can't always guarantee fresh meat having a good amount of berries on you could be the difference between life or death but there you go guys this is how you farm your own plants in conan exiles just don't forget that if you are wondering how many of these items you require, unfortunately it doesn't tell you. So you may find you've put some bone meal in there, but it might not do anything. And that's purely for the fact that you've not put enough in there. So sometimes it's best to put more in there and hope that it's going to create a, a decent pile of compost for you. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you on another video. If this has helped you, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.